So I start reading it, and I'm like, whoa, whoa, holy moly. I'm like, what the heck is this? It was just a secular, pure scientific thing, but it talked about this thing called, here's the word, fetal microchimerism. Write that puppy down, okay? Fetal microchimerism. The chimerism is C-H, not a K. Okay, it's a hard C-H. Fetal microchimerism. So some scientist in different uh, universities around the world had discovered this on just a secular level. They were doing studies on women in uh, like Sweden, even in Washington State and a couple of places around the world simultaneously, uh, you know, on, on, on women. And they discovered that during these uh, research, some of the women got sick because it was a long-term study. And they found that there were cells in these women's bodies, living cells, that were not hers. And they were like, okay, this is interesting. What do we make of this? And they discovered that when these women were sick, they thought, well, these cells, through their studies, are the cells of her children. Now, some of these women had not been a mother in, in the physical sense of having a baby in them recently at all, like a long time ago. But they discovered that it was the cells of their children, living cells, still in her body. But they thought, well, this doesn't bode well for motherhood. It looks like the cells of her children are causing the illness. This is not good. They kept studying. Guess what they discovered? Oh, it, that's not the case. It's the opposite. When a mother becomes sick, the cells of her children, all the children she's had, rush to the area of her body to fight for her life. Scientifically proven, fetal microchemism. Whoa! But he, some amazing things were discovered as well. Other than that, many of these women, when they were having the testing done, didn't put down that they were mothers. So the scientists were confused because uh, there are cells in your body that are not yours and you didn't put that you were a mother. This is weird. Well, they were, but you know, they didn't put certain things on there. Maybe out of embarrassment or just, you know, it's, it's difficult to deal with. Miscarriage, right? So many women experience that, but you're a mother. But they didn't put it on there. But then it was understood, oh, okay, well, you, you were a mother, right? And, and you had the baby there for a period of time because this cellular exchange happens within the first trimester of the pregnancy. Amazing stuff. But then there were others who said that they didn't have a miscarriage. You know what they said they had had? An abortion. Yeah. Making, obviously, the wrong decision, terminating the pregnancy, taking the life of the child, a horrible decision, of course. But you're a mother. And isn't it ironic that the life that was terminated now fights for yours? Yeah. Scientifically proven. Fetal microchimerism. And you know, the studies are still being done because they found that women still, in their old age, still have cells of their children alive in their bodies, fighting for them. This is mind-blowing stuff. Mind-blowing. One of the scientists and, and one of these articles, because after that I did a whole bunch of research, one of them was kind of making a funny, he said, you know, we've always thought that mothers have a, 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 an intuition, a sixth sense. My mother would. I could come home and be faking a smile and she'd be like, Johnny, what's wrong? I'm like, how do you do that? How do you know, right? Well, this guy said, it's not like mom's watching over your shoulder. She's in your shoulder. <laughs> Why? Because it happens both ways. All of you right now have living cells of your mother in your body right now. Even if your mother is no longer here, she's already deceased. She's still here on a cellular level, in your body. That's amazing. You know, sometimes people will say in life, and rightly so, it's just we never fully understood it, if a mother experiences the death of a child or when like a child experiences the death of a mother, what do we say? Part of me died when my mom died. Yeah, literally. Now, scientifically, this is proven. This is incredible.